Hello guys, and welcome back to part two of making over our bedroom makeover. And I'm really excited about this bedroom makeover because it's going to be the darkest room, most boldest room in the house. We also added a lot of detail in part one. So if you didn't catch part one, I'll leave it linked. In part one, we ripped up the carpet that just needed to go. Underneath the carpet was the same existing brick flooring that's in the rest of the house, this portion of the house. So we knew that when we bought the house, so we were really excited to rip up the carpet, bring back the brick, and have a more solid flooring. We also had a beautiful original beam in this space, so we did the same stripping method to strip off the paint that they had painted. It was like coats of white paint on it. And then we added baseboards and molding. I do think it's going to add something really, really special to the walls once we paint it all a tonal color. Now we are to a point where we have tested paint samples. I asked you guys in the last video to comment which one you loved, taking into consideration the other elements in the space the brick flooring, the white trim around the French doors and windows, and the beam stain. And a big thank you to Benjamin Moore for sponsoring today's video because all of these beautiful colors that we sampled in the last episode are from Benjamin Moore because I knew I wanted to go dark and moody and more rich in this space, so I knew they were gonna have the perfect color options for me to really pick from to find the perfect undertone to match the rest of the space. So I picked up these Benjamin Moore paint samples at my local Ace Hardware, which I love to go and shop from. I get so much more attention <laughs> and they help me so much more than going to a big box store. They're so knowledgeable about Benjamin Moore paint and what type of paint I'm gonna be needing for different projects. So I not only start with picking up a sample from there and then once I test it in the space like this and put it on some larger boards, I can really see the paint at different times of day and then I can make the final decision and pick up the paint in the right type from Benjamin Moore for my project. So we're gonna decide on the paint color right now and actually head back to Ace so that I can get enough paint to paint this space. After reading all your comments, Romeo and I sitting with these for a while to determine which one we're gonna love in here and trying to imagine it in a big way. It came down to two. My gut in the beginning was telling me Woodcliff Lake, which is this one, but I knew it had some cooler undertones, which I don't normally love. So I went on Benjamin Moore and actually looked at different uh, shades of this color. And this one was another shade of it, which is Dash of Pepper. It has more warm. And I think, you guys, I think it's Dash of Pepper. I think my gut is telling me Dash of Pepper. We also need it to look good with white which I think it does. I mean, if I think eventually, if I decide like color drenching completely in the room is the way to go, I can always paint the trim and the doors and stuff. Like we're kind of taking this in stages until we get it perfect, you know, but you gotta start somewhere. And I know the walls are a great place to start. I think I love it. So if you guys are going to start a new project where you need paint, I highly recommend checking out Benjamin Moore's store locator to find the closest Benjamin Moore retailer near you so you can pop in and get exactly what you need for your project. Love them, big thank you to them. So I headed back to Ace to pick up the paint and I'm so excited about this dash of pepper color. I think it's gonna give me the warmth and moodiness that I really want. And I went with Benjamin Moore's Regal Select line in a matte finish. And before going in with the final paint color, I went ahead and primed the wood trim so it had a nice smooth finish ready to take the new paint. We have definitely decided that we are going to spray the paint on the walls instead of roll them. Because when you put trim on a wall or you do a lot of detailed work, oh, rolling the paint and painting by hand gets very, very, very tedious and you have to do multiple coats. And we're doing a darker paint and I already have the paint spray. So if you have to invest in the paint sprayer, obviously you don't have to spray it, but we already have it. So it's definitely going to be easier. I am already in my, sorry, I look crazy. I'm already in my paint clothes. I have, I always get paint all over like speckles on my face where my mask doesn't cover. So I have no makeup on. <laughs> we're just, we're doing it today. We're gonna run the paint through the sprayer and we're gonna do at least two coats. I've got two gallons just to be safe. So when I spray inside, I also cover my face and my eyes. The less paint you get on you, the less you have to clean off, and it just helps protect you, just in case. Ready, let's do it.
Oh, that's so pretty! Guys, I I love this color. It will, it did intimidate me to paint a space this dark because just because I've never done it before. But it's so pretty. I'm so glad we went with Dash of Pepper instead of Woodcliff Lake because I think I needed the warm undertone that the Dash of Pepper actually gave me that Woodcliff didn't. It had more of a cool undertone. Uh, just because of the other things that we were going with in the space because of the floor and the beams and the beam is really dark in this room But I've matched the stain to the other ones in the house. I think next to the darker paint color. It kind of looks really dark I almost kind of liked it a little bit raw But I do want it to be consistent with the you know the the house and stuff and I do like it not painted and in person I can see more of the wood grain. I don't think that that's coming up on camera, but I can see it. So now we can decorate. I have a new dresser. Well, a repurposed old dresser that's been refinished that I found on Facebook Marketplace on its way to be delivered right now. So that's really exciting. I got a new rug from the flea market. Well, no, a new old rug, all of it's old. <laughs> I got a vintage Persian or Turkish rug. I need to look at it again. A vintage rug um, from my favorite vendor at the Rose Bowl Flea Market. So I went this past Sunday because I knew he would have exactly what I was looking for. It's going to bring in a lot more color. We have a new bed with a headboard and then we can bring back in our other pieces. Okay, we're going to start with the rug for obvious reasons. It needs to go under the bed. Oh, it's kind of the first step. So I picked up a rug pad from Home Goods in an 8x10 because that's the size of the rug that we needed for the space. But instead of the rug going side to side, it has to go like lengthwise. Um, so it will stick out beyond the bed. It'll just be on the skinnier side just because of how the room is shaped. Oh, I loved all the colors in this rug. It had a little bit of blue in the center. Not a little bit, a lot of it actually. So it would tie in really well with the blue in the bathroom because I really wanted to tie the ensuite into this space. And then the rust color goes with the brick. You like it? Mm -hmm. yeah. I, want this, I want this room for my room. Okay. A smaller one. Yeah, in a smaller room. Oh, this is perfect. This yeah. color is perfect. Oh That's my goodness. Really pretty. I just didn't want to go safe with a the rug. There was another one that he had, I'll put on the screen, that was lighter in color. It was more gray, more icy. And you know, I've had trouble with icy rugs in the past and I just felt like in this space, I didn't want anything to lighten it because I had lighter furniture. I felt like the rug and the wall color could really be darker and more moody and add more color. So this brought in our like rust and blues and really pretty jewel tones too. Just really pretty. Oh, I love it. The dresser that I got on Facebook Marketplace just arrived. It's absolutely Beautiful. You know, you never quite know ordering something on Facebook Marketplace and you kind of have to just depend on what the photos look like, especially when you're having something delivered. But this 
blew everything out of the water. So it's it's an older dresser in the French provincial style, but it's been redone. So it's been stripped um, of the old paint or old colors. They already did the work for me, obviously. And then they did like a gray wash, you know, like how that happened. But, but look at the hardware on it and the wash, I love it. And I really wanted something lighter in color that complemented and tied some of the look from the front room because we have that beautiful entryway table that I got from Olive Atelier. I want something that complements that in tone and color so that I can start to like pair the spaces together. They, they look like they're part of the same house, even though we went with a different color in this space. We actually have more drawers now than we did before, which is great, <laughs> which is great. patterns as well in this space so our headboard is light and neutral but it also has stripes <laughs> so we've got stripes we've got you know the floral pattern and the rug and stuff I just I thought it would make the room feel more eclectic and interesting just wanted to do something different I love it with the wall color see how now this brightens up the space I love the shape it had like a little more character to it instead of just something straight or wooden. So now we're gonna build the rest of the bed. I would love an Oreo. I would love an Oreo. Sounds so good right now. He said, would you like an Oreo? I would love an Oreo. Ooh, look at all these corner things. That's what I'm saying. <gasps> this must hold a lot of weight. That's what I'm saying. Together and I love it. I was a little worried about its height. I wanted to be able to see the wall behind the bed and before the windows because it's a little of, of an unusual room in here, you know, because our windows are up so high because of how the land and the house is positioned on the land. But all of this back here is completely private. That's our lemon tree and our like our dining outdoor dining table. So no one can see in our bedroom. So now let's talk bedding because I've actually been thinking a lot and kind of like swapping bedding around in the house and I have this really pretty moss bedding from Brooklyn in. I was hoping it would go because it was kind of like the inspiration start off point for this room. I think it's kind of incredible but I don't think it can be the main character. So I think what I'm going to do is mix the moss with this kind of like more beigey like taupe color because that's going to be on top and then it'll kind of calm the green down. So it can be a secondary little hint. It's too light though. It adds too much lightness. I feel like it should be warmer. For over the dresser, I actually had this art already here. It wasn't hung right. It was just, it was when I replaced the one I had here with. And I never really quite liked it in this space. So 
I was contemplating finding another one, but I want to see what it looks like with the new wall color. If we need to go a different direction or not. I mean, it's the vibe I want. Oh wait, actually, whoa. Okay, I did not like this art when this room was white, and now it looks so much better. Really just comes down to having all the right elements. <laughs> Even just painting the walls in here can make such a big difference. That's beautiful. That's being Han. I'm sorry. I got that. I got that at the flea market for $30. I had it for about a year now. I think I got it for about $30. Okay, I love to bring greens into a space. This is actually a pot and some flowers that I got for fall for fall. I had it in the living room, but when we decorated for Christmas, I took it down. But I wanted to see what it looked like in here because I thought it would bring that organic look that I really wanted in this space. And I actually kind of like the greens because it's like playing with like the same color, but different tones of that color. Uh, so monochromatic and they're, they're fake flowers, but they're really pretty. Got some books and some warm and neutral kind of colors. This one's kind of like a dusty blue. I got these at the flea market too. There was a lady that was just kind of like getting rid of their books. She was like, I don't want to haul these anymore. And I think I got them for only a few dollars a piece and they were all architecture and interior design books. Say less, I will take them from you. No worries. Also my jewelry always goes on my dresser. So it makes it super kind of functional. And I can finally decorate spaces with my own candle that's actually pretty, that looks like decor. Oh, We'll put something organic over here to kind of finish out this side. I actually like this bowl on my dresser because it's like a catch-all for some things that I collect uh, that's not jewelry, you know? I kind of like it. Mine and Romeo's picture I had printed from Paris. I was hoping I did the molding just right so that it would still fit and it totally looks so good. I love having this one in my bedroom. And a good rule of thumb that I follow, just because I think it's it's my height, I'm 5'7". I hang a piece of art or a picture or anything like that where I'm looking dead center. Now I know that won't work for everybody because we're all different heights, but it's your house. <laughs> I wanna look like dead center at the picture. So this is where I would, would hang it. So some super sad news is that my nightstands that I had in here before that I ordered specifically for this room don't fit because we added like, a, it's not a larger bed, it's still a king, but it has these like side details on the bed. It took up that much more space to where now the nightstand itself, it dimensionally fits, but they have these legs that kind of come out further and they don't fit, which is okay because we need nightstands upstairs in the guest bedroom. So that's fine. We can move them upstairs, but we are going to be on a mission to go find nightstands today too. So we're going to do a little bit of shopping. I need some art and things on this side of the room because now this side has art, but I want to hang something like on each side. And then obviously once we get nightstands and lamps, it's going to fill it out too. So I have these lamps that will pretty much go in here because I have looked for other ones that I might like. The flea markets and things, and I just, I haven't found anything that I like better. But these are a little on the tall side. They're more of a buffet lamp. I got these at the thrift store years ago. They've always kind of been in our bedroom for the last couple of years. But they are pretty and they do go with the overall, you know, vibe and style, but they're just a little tall. It is gonna add some height over here, which actually is pretty good. But I'm trying to see, cause I wanna hang a piece of art over here. That will look still really good with a piece of art here. Let me just hung like a little bit higher, a, t a tinge maybe. It's no secret I love a good vintage book. So I, I have collected quite a few. I was trying to think of something interesting we could do on these ledges that was also safe. You know, like that wouldn't fall off on the top of us kind of thing. So it obviously wouldn't put anything up here that was over our heads, like over the bed itself. But the windows extend all the way over here to the corner. We opted not to put any window treatments in here because it just blocks sunlight and we don't get any direct sun from this direction and it's completely private. So I didn't want to hide the windows if I didn't have to. I was thinking, what if I put some books up here on the ledge away from our headboard 
and I have these like pretty bookends that I got. I got these bookends at the flea market and they're horses, they're, they're like stone. I think I got them for like $30 for the pair and I don't have a place for them. They've just kind of been hanging out, but I like that it's stone because it ties in further with the entryway. I have the stone lamps and the stone tabletops. I was like, maybe we can bring that in here and kind of like do something with the ledges. So it feels a little more thought about. It wouldn't block any sunlight and it would be off to the side over here. I need one more because I don't like even numbers. Also add some color up here too. Wait, I kinda, I kinda love it. We could even, I could even put some, since this is the heavier one, I can put a 3M sticky on the bottom if we really love it um, so that it's gonna stay up there even if we do have an earthquake. Honestly, we could even add a few more. Like I could go maybe to here and it would still be safe. You know, like it would still not ever reach our heads because we would sleep, someone would sleep way over here. I think I could fill it out a little more. I'll like look around and see if I got some more books and put them up there. I love that though, it adds a little bit of something. I went to Home Goods to see if they had any nightstands that would work in the space that was the right size. And I happened upon these. These look very similar to the nightstands I actually wanted originally before we got the last ones in this space. After getting them home and seeing them in the space, I did still like the black because it tied in with the black mirror and made all the colors seem really purposeful in the space. But I didn't love the black handle. I felt like it didn't do much for the overall nightstand. So I had these beautiful solid brass knobs from an older project that I saved that I'm gonna swap out the knobs to hopefully give it a little more style and there to be a little more contrast on the nightstand. And I think it'll tie in really well with our lamps that we had in here. enjoyed this makeover what a major transformation from our bedroom what once was a sterile white room that had potential but lacked a little bit of direction really came together with just the paint color and all the elements and i think over time i had a vision for where i wanted to take the space so i collected some good pieces but they weren't really shining like they didn't really have the the space to really shine so now with the new bed and her new dresser I've been looking forward to getting a dresser for a very long time. With the new paint color, it just offers such a cozy kind of oasis in here. And I always said, if I can make every room feel like a cozy library, I would have accomplished my goal because I love that look. And this very much gives cozy, warm, library vibes. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did hit the like button, it helps the channel so much. And comment down below if you would ever be daring enough to paint your room this dark, because I can tell you if you want this vibe, if you want that cozy vibe, a dark, warm, beautiful paint color is definitely going to give you that look and that feeling. So comment down below if you would pick, or if you picked Dash of Pepper in the last episode. <laughs> I'm so happy too that we finished this makeover in time for the holiday season so that we can actually enjoy it and wind down a little bit and really celebrate and enjoy the holidays. So I hope you guys enjoy the holidays. I hope you have a wonderful new year. I will see you guys in the new year and also over on my vlog channel where we're doing Vlogmas. So I will leave my other channel linked if you wanna hang out through Christmas day with me and I will see you guys in 2024, which is crazy. <laughs> That's absolutely crazy. And we're gonna do more fun stuff and more makeovers and I don't know we're, we're gonna have a lot of fun bye guys <sighs> I love it <laughs>